I'm Lindsay. I'm Zach. I'm Emily, and we're seniors from Omaha Central. Good Good job! And this is an application essay. Please describe every significant thing you've ever done and include how each has affected you. Also address the struggles you face in your education and how you've overcome them, as well as a description of your personality and values. Do not exceed 200 words. <laughs> what? How am I supposed to communicate to you elitist admissions counselors the very essence, essence of, of my, my existence, existence, the very stuff of my soul in 200 standard English words? Because that's what you want, right? You want impact, an essay that makes you laugh, laugh and cry and, and really know me. A combination of words so stellar, your, your face, face melts. I'm 116th Egyptian, do I qualify for this scholarship? How can I be diverse? A population is diverse. I'm only one person with one identity. Um, speak for yourselves. If I started a nonprofit at age 12, does that mean I'll get into Harvard? Help me, Warren Buffett. You're my only hope. For the box next to religion, I always write in Jedi. The word application causes me heart palpitations. Hey, where are you guys going to school next year? <laughs> the CHS Poetry Slam team in 200 words or less. My parents couldn't start a college fund for me from the time I was conceived like so many of you may believe. They had other bills to pay. Looks like I'll be paying bills for the rest of my natural life. At this when? point, money doesn't even seem real. When did what do you want to be when you grow up turn into what are you going to major in? And in case you don't know the difference, the first question you're going to be answering is something like, I want to be Batman. The second is expected to be answered with, I want to major in criminal law so we can improve our society and punish the wicked. If you think about it, both answers mean the same thing. But high school doesn't prepare you for the disappointing answers you'll get if you answer, I don't know. You may argue that my GPA what? is a more accurate display of my intelligence than my ACT score, but I tested on only Mountain Dew and two hours of sleep the entire time making eyes at the What's boy next to me, and I still scored in the 99th percentile. And stop giving me pitying looks. I'm going to UNL by choice. How can I possibly tell you about 17 years of hardships in so few words? Just because you're too lazy to read more means I have to suffer years of debt? I was adopted by my aunt. Does that count? If I have a job, does that disqualify me for financial aid? I'm going to college to explore, not for you to stifle my creativity. Does my 201st word make me ineligible? We are not standardized. We, we are, are people. people. If you admit us, you'll have new members of your precious learning community, community that busted their heads open in mosh pits. Who only recently outgrew sweaty palms. Who have broken four Xbox controllers. Who have Led Zeppelin tattoos, snapbacks, and cigarettes. But more importantly, people who still find solace in a photography dark room. Who gain confidence from a bushy beard hugging their face. Who wishes she had who wishes she had been allowed to write this essay on her typewriter. Who works to make a third of his family's income. You want to know why I'm diverse, but if I told you the quirks that would really enrich your school, I can guarantee that you wouldn't accept me. Because, because diversity, diversity is only acceptable, acceptable as long as it doesn't make other people uncomfortable.